Are you a graduate engineer and looking for a job? I'll provide some tips, guidance and uh, information in this video, so keep watching. Hi guys, this is uh, your host Jessica signing in from the YouTube channel Civil Engineer. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. This video is all about uh, how to find um, engineering jobs in the in the UK. Uh, well, this will apply throughout the world, but in particular, uh, I will concentrate more in the UK job market. I'll give you some guidance, tips, and information uh, how you can go about your job finding, uh, job searching, and job hunting sort of process. Assalamu alaikum, dosto. Main hu aapka host Jahan Zeb Khatak, YouTube channel Civil Engineer se aap se mukhatib hu. Agar aap mere channel pe naye hain, to welcome. Uh, अगर आप जॉब uh, की तलाश में हैं तो ये वीडियो आपके लिए हैं मेक शो sure कि आप पूरा वीडियो देखें इसमें uh, इसमें आ, मैं आपके साथ शेयर uh, करने वाला हूं uh, कुछ अहम मालूम टिप्स देने वाला हूं तो मेक शो sure ये uh, पूरी पूरी वीडियो देखें इसके अलावा अगर आपको कोई सिविल इंजीनियरिंग रिलेटेड कंस्ट्रक्शन रिलेटेड और जॉब मुताल कोई uh, मसला है इशू है आप डिस्कस करना चाहते हैं तो कमेंट सेक्शन में मुझे बताएं मुझे क्वेश्चन करें तो मैं अपनी पूरी कोशिश करूं कि आपको जवाब दे सकूं अस्सलाम वालेकुम मलगरो जेम जहां से फटक द YouTube चैनल सिविल इंजीनियर तासर मुखातिब हूं तासुक दी जो पतालाश के नो द वीडियो तासे दे पारदा कोशिश कर छि दा पूरा वीडियो तास ओगो रही जति के सब सब देयर अहम ओ जरूरी मालूम तासर शेयर कवल वाड़म और उम्मीद लरम चिदा बता सो हेल्प कई जॉब फाइंडिंग की दीन अलावा कता सो कंस्ट्रक्शन रिलेटेड सिविल इंजीनियरिंग रिलेटेड टेक्निकल इश्यूज ही सो जॉब रिलेटेड इश्यूज ही और तासो डिस्कस कवल वाड़े या सो हेल्प वाड़े नो कमेंट सेक्शन के मात ओल के उस वक्त पर पूरा कोशिश को हम चिदा सो सही जवाब मुयसर कर और आई डाइव इनटू टुडेस टॉपिक आई विल बिगिन विद अ जेन्युइन स्टेटमेंट Engineering is one of the in-demand profession in the UK uh, for the next 10 years at least. The test figures the UK engineering companies are in demand of 182,000 people uh, with engineering skills per year uh, in the UK. If you are an engineering degree holder so this should bring a light to your day. So let's start with today's topic 5 steps guide how to find engineering job step number 1 cv so you are selling yourself to the client via your cv so it's genuinely important how you put yourself on your cv uh, for experienced engineers um, they they can easily expand their experience uh, to the requirements about the job requirements and they can be stand out from the crowd but what about the graduate or the, the the student they they literally finish their studies so what about those engineers so i will share some uh, some genuine skills which every engineer should have in themselves and they must have experience was they are as a student uh, as well so one of them that stands out i mean for engineers is the technical skills um obviously you can't complete your studies your degree without the technical skills so you can expand on your technical skills your software skills uh in your cv um you can include your dissertation and what technical skills you have used there as well in in your dissert final your dissertation that can be part of your cv as well uh additionally uh, the another skills that is quite important for for the client uh to to see in yourself uh, as a graduate engineer is uh, is your communication obviously communication goes all along from your student life uh you can expand on those as well communication skills uh, how how did you communicate with your tutor within your dissertation within your group uh, you can enhance your your experience uh, you can include that uh, as part of your cv another quite important aspect for the client to see in a graduate engineer is is a team player um again yeah this is something you must have experienced throughout your engineering life uh, again yeah you've been part of the dissertation your project or even if you have done uh, a gap year 
um, the sort of experience you can uh, include that as, as part of your CV as well that, that can enhance your CV to the to the next level if you can in, in, uh, include all these skills the next thing about the CV is is quite a uh, genuine and quite important and vital is uh, you need to tailor your CV based on the job requirement. Uh, for instance, if, if the job is um, basically, if, if the title say a technical engineer. So you need to ensure, you need to bring that top, basically that statement technical in your CV quite a few times. Uh, the title and also the description what is required uh, obviously I mean if you already have those sort of skills you need to highlight them more than the other skills which are not mentioned in, in the uh, job description or in the title so this is quite important you need to tailor your CV based on the job description and the title and that will give you an edge uh, about your, your peers step number two job websites uh, there are quite a number of uh, job websites uh, i mean you can easily access uh, via internet in the uk uh, a few the mania yeah, i'll mention here is is the linked in uh, railwaypeople.com indeed.com uh, these are the genuine uh, which i have personally used myself majority of the rec recruitment agencies in the uk uh, they, they pick the uh, the candidates uh, from a uh, generally uh, yeah the, these are a few number of websites uh, if you have uploaded your profile they can pick up yeah, your CV from there and they can uh, get in touch with yourself step number three employers websites majority of the engineers I mean they skip this this stage uh, but uh, I, I must add a uh, majority of the uh, employer or the, the, the main client in the UK in particular Network Rail, uh, Highways, England, uh, HS2, Atkins, Acom, I mean these are the major client uh, in the UK and the employer in the UK. Uh, they uh, actually advertise their jobs on their websites. Uh, and they have their own recruitment teams as well. So it's it's very important and vital. You need to go right in, onto their websites uh, to access the the advertised jobs there as well. And you can simply do the same. Basically, upload your profile, your CV uh, on their websites, and uh, they can get in touch with uh, with yourself. Again, yeah, uh, need to ensure you have the right context there as well. It's similar to the job websites, uh, but you need to make sure you go onto individuals, employer and the client website. And there will be a career section on one of the menu, uh, on the top menu, the career section. That's where you can go into that and you can find yeah, the relevant jobs yeah, for yourself and upload your profile. Step number four, follow up your application. This ensures the employer uh, that you are genuinely interested uh, in the, in the job and in the in the employer. So it give assurance yeah to the, to the uh, recruiter to the employer. So you need to make sure once you applied for the job, you keep follow follow that up with with the email with the phone call and uh, it's just keep you on on track with with the uh, with the recruiter with the, with the employer. Step number five, don't give up. Uh, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel, so don't give up. I mean, we all, everyone um, watching here or the one presenting, we all been through this process uh, and I'm sure that is a new start for your career. So keep trying uh, and uh, please uh, comment below how your job hunting is going. If there's any more help you generally need uh, from my end, I can help with uh, so do use the comment section so that's all for me in this video uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on future informative and uh, educational videos and also please share with others so others can benefit as well thanks for watching